So hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Life and welcome back for some more The Walking Dead. We are on to episode 5, No Time Left. Let's go. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some... batteries? But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone, wherever she is. I have to find her. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? <laughs> Clementine! Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Yeah, that's rightly. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. Time to go. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Oh, hello. Cabinets. Is there anything in it? Empty. Just some surgical supplies. There must be something in these cabinets. Ah. Uh -huh. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Um, I'm guessing there's nothing in here. Yeah. Right, so the way out is going to be up here somewhere, I imagine. Elevator. Oh. I guess we have to use this. These doors open in two seconds. Great way to start. Fuck. 
Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! Tell me more about him. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Uh, don't kill me! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Are you chopping his arm off? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss, well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? Nah. No. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'm gonna be happy to have them both. But... you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? There'd be too much blood loss. Die from that instead. See if we can make it to an empty floor, or even the roof. Sounds good. The thing is, the other people turned nice really quickly. Quiet, everybody. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. The kid at the um, motor inn, he turned pretty much instantly after his leg was cut off. <gasps> Watch out! That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. <laughs> Come on, Lee. Is this in the time? No, come on. Oh. I think his legs hooked Lee. into it. Lee! Oh god. Are you alive? Get up! I'm alive. You have to pull yourself up. Oh yes, that core strength. Thing on my arm, the little um, the green thing. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. 
They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Right. Hospital must have run out of doctors. It's not really much up here, actually. So I talk to Kenny. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Okay, so we don't want to head that way. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. Hmm. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, Krista. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Okay. Now I need. Where's I need? There he is. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. No way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. Hmm. Okay, I think I need to actually, like, click on one of them and look. There we go, yes. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. I'll make thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Okay, I hear what you're saying, Lee. So we're going to take this ladder. Yes. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Okay. I mean, it seems pretty, like... Hurry. Yeah, what she said. Should be... Okay. This is the breaking point. Uh... Told you. Oh, 
Go faster. Ooh, look at that shot. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? Uh, I could open the hatch. It's locked. Shit. The exit in here is locked! Let's jump it. There's nothing. Yeah. Ring the bell. Just gonna have to jump for it. way tons of them jesus now get back here let's see if i make this jump it's not that far i think i have to jump there's no way back you can make it it ain't that far Got this. You got this, motherfucker. Are you gonna take a run up or something? Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you need that run up. Whatever you do, do not trip. There we go. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Oh, so casual. It's gone. Holy. What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? 
What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourself. It's not like that, man. Mm. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done. And we have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone. Out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right, we get another boat. But not here. Aren't we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. That's it. Damn right. Oh. Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! Why did they all of a sudden just come over here? They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Uh, weapons. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Uh, Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omid. What is it? Everyone, help Omid now! Oh, dear. There we go. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there. Hurry! And the door. Aha. Take their goddamn arms off! There we go. Now what? Uh. Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. I'm just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. 
Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... That's not good. Clementine? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Mm. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Oh dear. You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? About to no. find out. This mansion butts up against the one next door. <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. They probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. 
We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Crystal. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. Um. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, he did not. We did, though. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Nah. Nah. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Oh, new gun. Well... How come they didn't come back? Keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but... It don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. 
We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of The Walking Dead. If you liked it, hit the like button and hit the J to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you all next time.